It's so pretty. It is pretty. Do we have paddles? Right there. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, welcome to Traffic Gig. I'm Rich Mellon. And I'm Sandy. And uh, we are at the start of muskrat season. And uh, we're going to go out and set a few. Actually, yeah. We've, uh, it's really early for us. Usually we are two weeks later than this. But already this morning the, the ponds were frozen really good. They were snow covered uh, a week ago. So <laughs> we're kind of in a panic that we may not get any, any ratting done. So. Let's get at it. Okay. Trapping is the cornerstone that Canada was built on. Brave and sometimes crazy men and women, fueled by the lucrative fur trade, explored and mapped our great nation. Hundreds of years have passed since then, but trapping still remains vibrant strong and steeped in the ancient traditions. The fur bearers still follow the old paths and live as dictated by thousands of years of instinct. Fur only gets prime in the harsh temperatures of winter and trappers must respect and prepare for the weather. Trapping's past is firmly rooted in history, but today, the gear and techniques have changed. Canada is still known for the best wild fur in the world, and today our pelts are sold on the global market. Our community is large, and our numbers are growing. We are trappers. This is what we do, and where we belong. Join us in our adventures. Welcome to Trapping Inc the face of today's trapper. First one of the year, Sam. Yep. A body grip. Yeah. Looks like a fair amount of rat sign here, but we're not, we haven't got a lot of complaints this year, so it's hard to say, right? Yeah. Notice we have white poles and orange poles. And what be the difference? Well, the white ones are the right ones. <laughs> <laughs> and the orange ones are not. The orange ones are the Canadian metric of three eighths. Right. Which, of course, is uh, 10 millimeter, which is not quite right for the for the bracket, so. I'm using a 120, one of uh, one that I use for, for Martin. Uh, 110 is all is required for killing a rat, so I only loosen off the one, uh, the one. Um, spring? The, the one spring, uh, spring bracket there, or the spring, uh, Fuck. Set her there. This is going really good for the first one, huh? Oh, yeah. Pretty smooth. Yeah. <laughs> I can see we're going to be out here until midnight if we're going to set all these. Okay. Now that wasn't fair. I like to have that carrot right at the water level there so you can drive right up. Drive through. On to the next. What's the next one gonna be here? Trapping Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Old Smokes Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous. Get your favorite brew online at oldsmokescoffee.com. Halfords, unique beyond compare. In store or online, we have all your trapping needs. Find us online at halfordsmailorder.com. 
Range Road Enterprises. See our full line of firewood processors, wood splitters, sawmills, and more online at range-road.ca. Carl's Ice Sport Optics. It's not just a rifle scope, it's a relationship for life. See the new V4 models online at gentech-intl.com. You can keep up with all the action at trappinginc.com or join our Facebook and YouTube sites. Always a good sign. Pro tip. Partially <laughs> chewed carrot. <laughs> you know what that means? <laughs> Probably a caught muskrat. Oh, yes indeed. Yes! Hind leg catch. Yeah. Perfect. And this is just mighty fine weather we're having. Yesterday when we left, <laughs> it was raining. Yeah, you were complaining about that. I was not. You were too. You make everybody think I'm a complainer. They know it. No, they don't. They, they... think I'm fabulous. <laughs> and they'd be right. <laughs> well, see, it's partially chewed, but I'll just leave it, I guess, huh? Well. Hey, why mess with success? I think. And, and it looks like you got the height, like, about right. Yeah. Looks like that 8, 10 inches kind of thing, huh? Yeah, we were playing with that a little bit yesterday. So, okay, well, that's one. That's one. Oh, it is gorgeous out here. I see a carrot. You do? <laughs> I do. They show up, don't they? Oh, oh, but there I also see a rat. So. Oh, excellent. Oh, and he looks like he got it right on the end of the nose there. Maybe. Excellent. Spring clip. I like these. Oh yeah. <laughs> Done, done. Oh, see, they both released on me. There's the problem. <laughs> so it was extra done. Uh -huh. I'll bet you I know somebody who forgot his trap setters. I know I did. This hurts no. my old arthritic hands badly. No, betting about it, hey? Yeah. Yep. Can't squeeze like I used to be able to. You probably noticed that I can't squeeze you like I used to, honey. <laughs> <laughs> huh? No, I hadn't noticed that. You hadn't? No. Well, I think so. <laughs> Oh, yes, indeed. There he is. The spring clap. Yeah. Strikes again. The day that I don't have my setters, where I'm really wishing that I didn't catch any in the spring clip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's a big one, too. Oh, another big one. Yeah. Isn't that funny? The carrots ate. So, did his buddies get it afterwards? <laughs> you know? It's not stuck in his teeth, so. <laughs> No, not stuck in his teeth. There. I have to push with the palm of my hand rather than try and squeeze with my fingers. I just can't. Can't want to like that no more, Sam. True story. Man. Yeah. Well, at least you were smarter on this one, hadn't you? We only had to reset one of them. Yeah. Okay. First time I used these spring clips was last year and they were just unbelievably deadly. I think we set 36. We had a dozen out, put it this way, we had a dozen out over, over three nights. Yeah. So 36 sets. We took 35 rats. And we had one one sprung one. Yeah. I think it's just the fact that they can swim up and and it's and so easy. There e it is, that nice delectable garden carrot there and Yeah. Sandy's garden carrots. That's a true story. Sandy's garden carrots. Particularly deadly. There we go. So we got five here, 
and uh, we're on to our next body of water. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing as cute as a girl packing her rats. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> and now for Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week. In today's tech tip, I want to talk about setting the pan tension, and that's how much weight it takes for a trap to go off. Uh, obviously, whether you're, you're working with coyote traps or with wolf traps, or, or in this case, we're using muskrat traps, just a one and a half, uh, it, it takes a, a very different uh, amount of uh, pan tension. A lot of people think that the lighter you set it, the better. That's not true. There has to be a certain amount of, of pan tension there for it to be reliable. Uh, with muskrats, I like a couple of pounds. And the reason for that is that sometimes you have ducks come around and they'll be pecking or swimming by, or, or you have wi uh, wind action, uh, wave action on the, the trap. You don't want to just set, set off over nothing, right? So what I've got here is a Sullivan's trap tester. Okay, and it's set off and it marked off in one pound increments. And you just very simply press this down on the, the, the pan to, to uh, register how much uh, tension it takes to set off. You can see that they've got a, a piece of rubber tubing on here uh, to, to protect it from the jaws. So you just take it, push down on it. Okay, there's one. We're sitting at about one and a half there was when it went off. Um, so that's maybe just a little bit light. What, you, what I end up doing then is I take and you have a, a screw with a, with a nut on it here, take and adjust that a little bit, reset the trap, do it again. Uh, for my kites, you know, you're sitting more, more at four, four and a half pounds, which is all that this will go to. For my wolves, eight to 10 pounds. Some places it's the law that they have to be 10 pounds. So make sure that you're following the law. That was Helford's Trapper's Tip of the Week. Okay, once again, the old half-eaten carrot trick. <laughs> we got ourselves one on the bracket. That worked good. We're uh, just picking up off of this little body of water and heading to another, heading to another, but there's a, there's a nice rat. You can tell that there's a lot more snow again today. Gosh, we're having so much fun, huh, Sam? Especially the bottom of the canoe. <laughs> hey, but you notice I actually wiped off your seat for you before you uh, sat down? Hey, is that true love or what? Uh -huh. knock, knock the snow off your seat. That's, that's true love, honey. True love. <laughs> Skinning a muskrat is extremely simple and easy. I like to start with make sure they're nice and dry and then I brush them out. I get rid of the front feet. Game shear works good for that. Then it's a matter of opening up the back end. I use a, a knife that's uh, called a, an opener or a parting knife. I take and run down the back leg right to what I'm landing for is just under the vent and on top of the tail. I'll come out there, see? I've separated it out on, on top of the tail. Then I'll go from that and go up his leg on the other side. Okay, turn it over. I take and pinch up the fur so that I can slide my knife underneath and go up that tail again. Now it's a matter of giving it a little bit of a pull. Here's something you have to remember to do, is just take and relieve your, your fur around his hind legs. So when you get there, you don't tear. The muskrats are pretty tender. Take and, and uh, start by getting your, your fingers, your thumbs up underneath and just work your way down around their legs. Take and pull it out, pull it back. It comes back towards the vent. Don't pull too hard because remember that vent is still attached. Go the other way and just peel it out. They peel out pretty, pretty easily. Okay. So now rather than worry about this vent right now, which we're still attached at, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to take this and I'm going to take and push him back through his own, set him up on his bum. Take and push him right back through his own hide. Okay, this sometimes happens, uh, the guts rupture. Take and uh, pull on his belly skin. See how that's parting out there for me nicely? And I come back like this and you can see 
Last place I'm attached, right there. I just take and give it a little stroke and he's free there. Now, we've got front legs to pull out. Okay, because I already clipped the foot off, front leg pulls out really easy. Just give it a pull up. Get your, your hand in between the skin and the, and the meat, give it a pull. Now we've got left is the head. This is a, what I like this here for. Just take and hook the leg on there. First thing you've got is if you look right here, you can see that that's the back of his ear. We give her a cut, that ear is, is done. Back over here, here's the back of his ear over here, okay? Give him a little cut underneath the chin here so that that meat lets go. See these two white spots right here? That is glands that his eyes are mounted in. And I actually cut right into that fat so that I don't get a big eye hole. It starts releasing it. See that? There's his eye done. There's his eye. And then I take and come down the side. Meanwhile, this is all being held here by that little handy tool up underneath there. Just got his nose to do now. Just like that. Boom. There we go. One muskrat done. Don't worry about the gut spilling out. That happens more often than not with them. Just don't let it get in your way and mess things up. Trapping Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Old Smokes Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous. Get your favorite brew online at oldsmokescoffee.com. Argo, go anywhere. Argo Extreme Terrain Vehicles conquer any season, any terrain. Join us online at argoxtv.com. Midland Radio, communication for every adventure. Find the all-new X-Talker online at gentech-intl.com. Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine, Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. Online at albertaoutdoorsman.ca. You can keep up with all the action at trappinginc.com or join our Facebook and YouTube sites. There we go. What, can you see it? Yeah, I can see. There's almost sunshine today. What, what's that all about? I don't know. It almost interrupted my view. <laughs> it almost interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. Hind foot catch, huh? So, yeah, I think it's just exactly what it's supposed to do. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Simple, simple system, but man, it works well. Well, carrot is all gone. <laughs> I'm not so sure that it's the muskrats getting the carrots as the geese out on this lake. Well, there is a lot of geese right now, that's a fact. Yeah, oh, I don't see a trap. Oh, I see a muskrat down there. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. I ran not a, a very good driver. I ran dude. us aground. <laughs> <laughs> you should you should just pull that one in. Hand me the camera and pull it in. Well, I can pull it in, but I'll... No, it's okay. I'll, I'll get it. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> That's awkward. All right. Hand her back here. Take care of her. Thank you. I can throw a hip out doing that. Right? <laughs> Come on now. It's not that bad. Um, Look at that. I mean, we've already we've already picked up a half a dozen and, and they're, they're just taking up no room at all in the canoe. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at that, even behind the head. Oh, well, yeah. and across the head. <laughs> he was... Well, they don't, they don't last. It's not like... No. Nope. No, like I say, and the biggest advantage is that you, you could actually set set it on, on uh, the bank because it's it's killing, right? It doesn't need to yeah. water or, or to drown or anything. They're just dead. Get off of my back, girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm the one that pays the price when uh, when I forget them. 
That's I don't true. need you reminding me. No, but it's so much fun that way. I know. You like that. Yeah. Is this our last one here? Looks like it. Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah, Time back, to... back that rig in there. Yeah. Time to move to the next pond. Yeah. I hope. I hope. I hope the weather holds for us. That's the only drawback is that it's been an early winter. Yep. Good job. You didn't even catch yourself in that one. Nope. There we go. And how many sets we got down here? Thirty-two. Rat trapping is one of my favorites, and I think it's because it's the very first animal up for the season. The weather is kind and soft, and we don't have any snow or anything else to deal with, so it's a lot of fun. Sandy and I have an immense amount of fun any time that we're trapped in anything together, whether it's a canoe out paddling around or in a vehicle traveling. We have a, a lot of laughs, and whenever you can laugh, life's pretty good. We ended up having a great rat season. It started shaky, but it, it ended up being great. You're going to see more rat trapping as the uh, season goes on here. However, that's our time for today. I hope you had as much fun uh, watching us today as we had bringing it to you, and maybe we'll see you down the line.